I worked with a, um, you know, I looked at a lot of different theater models when I was in my early 20s, and I worked with different kinds of companies, some of which were official nonprofit companies, and I really didn't like the structures. It seemed like a lot of the companies that had gotten together after maybe five, six years, they all hated each other, and they all wanted to disband. So I thought, well, okay, I don't want to do that. And I also wanted to make different kinds of work. I knew that I'd be meeting new people. So early morning opera really is a collection or a cluster of affiliated artists. To jest spektak, który ma bardzo ciekawą historię. To znaczy kilka lat temu pojawił się taki pomysł, żeby z okazji roku kantora nie skupić się na jakimś wspominaniu wielkiego artysty, który był i już nie żyje, tylko pokazać, że ten kantor jest żywy, ciekawy, znany na świecie. Faktycznie mam wrażenie, że zagraniczni badacze, artyści jakoś dużo ciekawiej go czytają niż my. Dla nas to jest jakieś wspaniałe muzeum, dla nich to jest ktoś żywy, ciekawy, dziwny, eksperymentujący. I did not have this project in mind at all before um, I met Pavel Potoroshin at the Adam Mickiewicz Institute and he said, what do you think about Tadeusz Kantor? And I shared some thoughts about his influence on me and he said, well, why don't you come to Poland? And I went to the Malta Festival in Poznan and then I came a few months later um, and spent some time with Szymon Wroblewski, who's also at the Adam Mickiewicz Institute, and showed me around. We went to museums and um, talked to Polish theater scholars and contour scholars and actually went to the Krikoteka and met the director of the Krikoteka and met former actors and just was doing research about maybe a new project. <clears throat> and as I was doing that research in Poland, going to some theater festivals, I came to Bosco Comedia in 2013 actually, um, at night we would go have drinks and I would always get a little drunk and end up talking about my father who actually I was very estranged from and had a very difficult relationship with and I never would imagine actually that I would make a project about him because he was a painful part of my life and I knew very little so there was almost nothing to make a project about because I had very little experience with him and in t talking about my father here what I kept um, what I kept sort of hearing from from other artists and, and people here was that his story wasn't unusual. It was a story that they that was all that was very recognizable to all of them. That many of them had somebody in their family who had a history like his somehow, who sort of went, who sort of vanished. Moja praca polegała na tym, żeby jakoś spróbować też znaleźć jakąś teatralną formę dla tego, bo y, najpierw praca polegała właściwie na, na szukaniu informacji o ojcu. Udało się dzięki znajomym z Warszawy do, dotrzeć do teczek IPN-owskich, co jest bardzo rzadkie, bardzo trudne. Wojtek Ziemiński, który o swoim dziadku y, Wojciechu Dzieduszyckim zrobił spektakl y, i też chciał dotrzeć do teczek, a nie tylko do tego, co jakby napisano na bazie tego, co w nich jest. Z tego, co wiem, do tej pory nie dostał pozwolenia, żeby tam zajrzeć. Nam się udało do tych teczek mieć wgląd, właśnie wydobyć zdjęcia, wydobyć zapisy rozmów, wydobyć te wszystkie obserwacje, które były prowadzone przez szpiegów, tego było jeszcze dużo więcej i faktycznie na, tym dokum na tych dokumentach pracowaliśmy, pracowaliśmy na na dokumentach właśnie szpitalnych, które gdzieś opisywały ostatnie lata życia ojca i Gdzieś na pewnym etapie pracy największym problemem było właśnie to, jak to przełożyć na teatr. To znaczy, co z tym zrobić? Bo mamy te dokumenty, mamy fakty, yy, mamy jakąś zupełnie niesamowitą historię. Ja też rozmawiałam z mamą Larsa, co też było trudne. Ona bardzo przez ostatnie kilkadziesiąt lat nie chciała do tej historii wracać, czemu się trudno dziwić, kiedy teraz musiała o tym mówić. Yy, bardzo ją to dużo kosztowało i bardzo trudne były te rozmowy, to znaczy pytanie kogoś o, o tego typu szczegóły, co się kończyło płaczem i, i bardzo jakieś było trudne tak naprawdę, więc też żeśmy wielu tych rzeczy tak naprawdę tutaj jeszcze drastyczniejszych nie umieścili właśnie ze względu na to, że, że to było zbyt osobiste. Gdzieś pomysł na formę teatralną pojawił się w pewnym momencie dosyć przypadkowo i tu akurat mogę się pochwalić, że to odkrycie pewnego tropu było moje, to znaczy 
kiedy przeczytałam, że ci dwaj, dwaj, dwaj szpiedzy, dwaj agenci, którzy szpiegowali ojca Larsa w Stanach i którzy zresztą byli tacy groteskowo, groteskowo nieinteligentni tak naprawdę, to znaczy on faktycznie bardzo sobie z nimi pogrywał, oni mieli pseudonimy Wacław i Argon i to Wacław i Argon Zabrzmiało mi zupełnie jak Wladimir Jestragon, zabrzmiało mi zupełnie po Beketowsku, ale myśl mnie od razu poprowadziła nie do Beketa, tylko do jednej z moich ulubionych sztuk Toma Stoparda, Roznakający Giddens, ten nie żyją, czyli niejako Hamleta tak jakby go przepisał Beket. Hamleta opowiedzianego z punktu widzenia właśnie Roznakająca Gildensterna, dwóch szpiegów, którzy są wysłani po to, żeby obserwować, zrozumieć szaleństwo Hamleta i jakby odgadnąć tajemnicę jego, jego losu. My favorite art piece in the world is in Krakow. It's the Wyspiański stained glass window mm -hmm. um, uh, of Genesis, and which I think is in one of the basilicas. I think it's, maybe it's St. Francis. And, and I saw that when I was 19. It was the first time I was in Krakow. And um, later I learned, oh, this is a, he's a playwright. And so there's this tradition of uh, dramatists who are also visual artists, which speaks very strongly to me here. And so not only Wyspiański, but actually even more so Witkiewicz. Like Witkacy is maybe, maybe my favorite, possibly. Um, I find him to be a really fascinating, iconic cultural figure. He's also a multidisciplinary artist. Um, he's a really interesting photographer in addition to a painter and a dramatist. And, um, and then Contour, of course. Moving all the way into, yeah, even Garjanitsa. I mean, I saw Garjanitsa again when I was maybe 22 in La Mama, New York, and I had tears streaming down my face. And, I, and I'm not sure how much it was to do with Garjanitsa and how much it was to do with like, the phenomenal performance of Mariana Sadowska, who I met around that time, who was the lead actress of the company for about 10 years. Um, so I, developed, I began a relationship with Mariana that, where a mentor introduced us and we worked on a project together and then I went to um, Ukraine with her for two summers on her ethnographic projects which had started with Garjanitsa and then I brought her to Afghanistan and we worked on a project there for a summer so we've been sort of off and on collaborating for a while but this felt like a perfect melding of our, both of our experiences in Poland with, with Polish theater. I have a profound respect for the the Polish theatrical tra tradition. I think, I think the average work in Poland is probably the best theater in the world. Now, I think there's extraordinary work in lots of different places, but I just think the I just think the bar is very high here. So there's a very high standard for seeing theater everywhere. And I think many more portions of the country and different strata of society, especially in terms of age, see, see theater um, than in most than in most countries, certainly than in the United States. <clears throat> um, I mean, I'm nervous. I mean, I'm nervous and I'm unsure about, uh, you know, what the impact will be. I, what I'm really hopeful of is that the language is not too much of a barrier and that there's something that's happening visually um, and, 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 and iconically that still translates in terms of the story. And, um, and I, I really wonder whether Contour's influence or the sort of Contourian ideas which are transformed and refracted in this project um, seem to be given any kind of new interesting perspective through this work. I don't know if that will appear that I mean this was an intention but I'm not sure if it will will be read by a Polish audience. <laughs>